Okay, so as an owner of a Mini 2, I'm going to be able to use the existing remote with the Mini 2 and the Mini 3. I want to see how easy that is, how much hassle that is, and what I would need to do if I want to do this. So, at the moment, I've got the Mini 2 switched on. Switch on the remote. Okay, so obviously it's recognised this drain because I've flown with it tons of times before and if I was outside, that's all good to go. So let's just kill that off. Switch off the remote. Switch off the Mini 2. And fire up the Mini 3. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm just gonna turn the remote back on again. DJI Fly fires up. Okay, so the first thing that comes up when I connect this Mini 3 is switch to quick transfer mode. You don't want to do that. That's literally if you just want to transfer files off the drone onto the phone. So we don't need that. What we need to do is click connection guide. And then from there, choose the Mini 3 Pro. And what it will say is that you have to update the firmware on the controller because that needs to support all of the new features of the Mini 3 that aren't on the Mini 2. It takes about a minute to do that. And obviously you're going to have to have an internet connection in order to, for that to happen. Okay, so there we go, that's updated, the controller restarts, and that's good to go. Now if I wanna change back again, so again, again, exactly the same procedure. Close that down. Switch off the Mini 3. Switch on the Mini 2. Click into connection guide and choose the Mini 2 from the options. And again, it's gonna to have to update the firmware so the controller works with Mini 2 as opposed to the 3. So it's exactly the same process, it just takes about a minute or so to do that. And obviously again, you're going to have to have an internet connection to do that. Okay, so that's it, that's all you have to do. Switch it on, connect it, update the firmware. Obviously if I'm going to head out somewhere where there isn't an internet connection, I'm going to have to plan ahead and make sure that it's connected to the right drone or just take both remotes with me. So if you choose to wait and just buy the drone on its own with no remote control, it's entirely possible to use your existing remote and get that connected up. And I don't think it's that much hassle to change between the two. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and do subscribe for more useful tips about the Mini 2 and the Mini 3. Thanks for watching.